welcome back to Cat Things. And in the previous video, I have mentioned that right now we have a zucchini season starting in Canada, which means that I have a lot of supplies of zucchini from my garden. And I thought, why not cook another wonderful zucchini recipe? I find zucchini a very versatile vegetable. You can put it in the smoothies. It doesn't taste very strong, but also you can make it stand out on its own, like in pastas or drum roll in zucchini fritters. So today we're making vegan zucchini fritters. For the start, we're going to grate two medium-sized zucchinis. You can use three small ones as well. And we're going to be using a really, really thin grater to make sure that the pieces are grated quite thin. Once we're done grating our zucchinis, we're gonna place them in a big bowl. And before doing that, what I would suggest is to also squeeze the zucchini to make sure that the excess liquid comes out. They can be a bit liquidy. So that would be the best in this case to make sure our fritters stay together. Now, because our recipe is vegan, we're going to be using, instead of an egg, the flax seeds. So we'll take a tablespoon of flax seeds and we will mix it with three tablespoon of water and we'll do it in a separate bowl and set it aside for a few minutes until it starts to gel. Then to our zucchinis we're also gonna add three tablespoon of flour and we're gonna peel two cloves of garlic and squeeze it in our zucchini mixture as well. Then we will also chop a bit of fresh dill. If you don't have any fresh dill, you can also use dehydrated one. And we will add a teaspoon of onion powder. Last but not least, my little secret trick here is also to add a tablespoon of nutritional yeast. It's high in protein and it just gives it nice cheesy flavor to whatever you're cooking. Once our spices are in, to this mixture we're going to add our gelled flax seeds and give it a nice stir. We will also then add a pinch of salt and keep on stirring until the mixture becomes consistent. And at first it will feel a little bit weird and like it's not sticking enough together, but if you keep on stirring you will see that it will start being more and more consistent. We're going to add about a tablespoon of sunflower oil to a skillet and start preheating it. Once our pan is preheated, we will add our zucchini fritters to the pan, gently shaping them with the spatula and we'll fry them for about five minutes on each side. And if you feel like it's getting a bit dry in the pan, you can always drizzle a little bit more oil. Generally, I would suggest to fry the zucchini fritters on medium heat. You guys, they are so green and colorful and pretty. I'm super, super excited to finally taste them. Once our fritters are ready, we're gonna serve them one on the top of each other. I like eating it with a bit of spinach on the side and the spinach dip. It's such a delicious and healthy treat at the same time. And our zucchini fritters are ready. Mm, you guys, it looks so, so beautiful. It's just for me a perfect summer lunch. All the garlic, the zucchini, and the freshness, you'll not regret making this. And I think you don't wanna see me chewing. So I'll better head out and enjoy the meal. And I wanna thank you for staying with me for this recipe. And if you enjoyed it, please, uh, give the video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel for more exciting content coming up. I'll see you in the next video. Until next time.